I transformed a massive part of the nether in hardcore Minecraft. This whole project took over 30 hours to build and I think it turned out amazing. Watch to the end to see the finished build. And why we're doing this project? That's easy. I want to make this place look better and to make it a whole lot safer. Because it seems no matter what you do, something is always out to kill you in the nether. And I don't want to die in hardcore. And we're going to go 100 blocks in each direction from that portal. That's our main portal back into the overworld. That puts the diameter of this area to 201 blocks. So we've got a lot of clearing out to do around this place and i think the best place to start is probably the trees and as you might have guessed i was attacked at every opportunity but i came up with a cunning plan i hold on to one of them in my offhand does that stop those guys from coming towards me no that doesn't work that's a bad idea it has to be on the ground Can, can you guys go away, please? I want to open my uh, shulker boxes. Please, please go away. Yep, do it. Ah! Nice. Tree's gone. So now that they're gone, that means we can start working on this place. But I want to check something first. Does moss grow when you bone meal it in there? Moss? Bone meal. Okay, let's try some science. Put that there. No. No, that's, that's bad news. Question answered. The next thing I need is a load of grass and dirt because I want to fill these holes in down at the bottom and actually see where the floor of this place is going to be. How much dirt do we have in here? We need to go and get some dirt and grass. Ooh, we'll need one of them at some point. Bingo, that's what we wanted. Loads of grass. Ten chokers full of grass. I wonder how far this will get us. I don't know if that grass is green enough. Let, let's put it down. If it's not green enough, then we can moss it all up. But we, we need to cover all this up. Oh, no. I've got a problem. Um, I accidentally hit one. I don't think they're happy with me now. Oh, I've got my wings. Oh, I didn't think I had them on me. See you later, suckers. We have done our first little section. Look at this. This is going to look amazing. But I don't think I like this color green. I think we're going to have to make use of moss. Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm thinking gas are going to be a bit of a problem around here. Not good. Right, I think we've done the grass as much as we can. As you can see, it's all covered up. But we can't do anything else until we start knocking all this netherrack down. I, I, I think this is what we need to start on now. So that should be a quick job. This bit first, the bit in the middle. I keep thinking of ways to put this off because I know this is going to be such a big job to get rid of all this netherrack. But I, I, I guess we just start digging. More digging. Those hurt when you've got a lighter on. Holy moly. It's the never-ending netherrack. The more I dig, the more netherrack appears. It's just, it's just endless. And this is just that centre bit still. Got loads more to go. Keep on digging. My pickaxes are almost broken. Can you believe I only came in with two? I think we need some more. So I'll go and get them, and then we can go and fix these ones as well. We need all the pickaxes. I think we've got a couple of diamond pickaxes in this chest. Yep, there they are. But I still need to get books on these. Let's go over to our villagers. I'm thinking we make a load more pickaxes. That way we can stay in the nether longer, and we don't have to keep going to our raid farm to repair everything. Now we just need the books. Okay, now we can go and get some XP, put these tools together, fix our other ones, and then get back to the nether and finish off this digging. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this won't be the last time we have to come to this farm. Right, I finished that bit in the middle. Now I'm going to use my brain. Rare or no? But I'm going to put the perimeter in. That way we can see how big this place actually is going to be. Whoa, right over the lava. I, I, I need more grass blocks. Behold a little part of my circle. 
kind of a circle. It's it's rough. It might not be perfect. In fact, no, it's not perfect. But it's a circle-ish nonetheless. And this thing is massive. I may have gone a little bit over the top. But you see all this nether rack in the middle? All, all that's got to go. All of it. So I think to start, I'm just going to take out the first two layers. Then we can see how big this place actually is. But having done that circle, I know that it's absolutely enormous. So this could take some time. And yeah, time it took. But I noticed the more room that I cleared out, the more of these guys were spawning. Oh, there were so many of them. There we go, as you can see, we have cleared out the bottom two layers of this place and it is absolutely enormous. What have I done? What have I done to myself? But now I've got to open up the rest of this place and I'm not going to bore you with more digging. It's tedious, trust me. So seeing as though that I'm in the zone for digging, let's get this cracked out. Wait a minute. They spawn at this level? Yay! Oh man, I'm not complaining. I will take that. Thank you very much. Halfway there with the digging, that side is done. Look at the size of this place. Just this side now, I'm sick of digging. And that's the digging complete, and I never, ever want to chop another piece of that stuff ever again. That took three days, three full days of digging to get this like that. But we did get 15 ancient debris. Winner. I never knew it spawned this high. So what I want to do for my next step is actually terraform this place. We're going to have rolling hills, because we can't leave it like that. It's grim, isn't it? Get, go away. Leave me alone. Stop it. Duh. I've had three days of non-stop of these guys. Don't hit him. I think we start in the middle. Let's get rid of this portal because I'm going to lift this up a little bit. No. 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 Gah. No! No! Yes! Nothing planned here. Just... I just, I just want to... Hill. Cool. We've got our main island. Or main... Raised bit in the middle. How many baby piglins? Go away. Why is there so many baby piglins? Yeah, a anyway, now we've got this, we, we need to do the rest. Let's, let's go and do that. Can you get out? Please get out. Thank you. See, all you have to do is ask nicely. Get out of it. No, he's gonna... Oh... Oh my, he's there! No! Oh. Go away! No, the ceiling again. Stop it! You're wrecking the joint! Get out of it. Oh. It makes such a mess. Right, I've finished with the groundwork, but we've got a few problems. One is the colour of this grass. I don't like that. It's not vibrant enough around here. And another is the spawns. The spawns are driving me insane, especially those dudes. So we have got a way that we can hopefully correct all that, at least change the color of that, and maybe reduce the spawns that we get. Moss. Moss and bone meal. This should make this look better. Let's go near grass. Put that there. Look at the difference in the color. Vibrant. Dull. Dull. Vibrant. We need that. And then these things will stop as much spawning as we possibly can around here. The, uh, what are they called? Uh, moss carpet. I knew that. Look at the difference in colour. That'll look much better. It kind of looks brown. No, don't wreck my boss. Oh, I hate these guys. Stop it. Oh, no. Oh, they are the worst. Oh, look at this. After many hours later, that is the grindy bits done, I think. And look, there's less spawns. I'm, sh I'm sure there's less spawns, uh, uh, he says. So what have we got to do now? We have got to light this place up. I also need to move... One of the portals. There's a portal right below there. 
Here we go. That should be the pillager outpost. Right, the next thing I wanted to do was put a path down, but I think we're going to light this up because hopefully lighting it up will stop these guys from spawning. That looks well lit up to me. Let's get out of here. Let them despawn and come back and see if we get anything. If nothing, great success. Look at that. That looks amazing. That'll do. That is, that is much better than what we got last time. I'm happy with that. Right, now that we're all green and all lit up, we need a path. We need to link both of these portals up so that we can walk around in safety. I just need to put some dirt down so we can make the paths. Then build a nice little fence so we can protect ourselves. And that is our safety fence all done. Now we've got all that done and stopped some of the spawning, the next spawns we've got to stop are the ghasts. And how do we stop that? I'm thinking trees. Trees won't allow them to move. So we're going to need some big ones. They are ugly coloured leaves. Look at them! And now if we just add some smaller trees, I think that'll really complete the look. I mean, we want kind of a forest anyway. This is nice. Plenty of trees. Keep those gas away. And we've still got plenty of room to fly around in. <gasps> look at that. It's like an enchanted forest. Ooh. Right, we're definitely looking a lot better, but I think we're still missing a few details. Details like houses, I think. A few villager houses dotted around. Cozy little villager home, even though we've got nobody living in it and there's no beds. I'm not that silly because that'll just wreck it. If we put another few of them around, I think that will bring this place to life a little bit more. There we go. Some villager houses in. This is looking more lively, but we're still missing more detail. I'm thinking a few ponds. Yeah, we need some water in here, but we can't have water. So we've got a couple of options. Lapis, which I don't think will go very well because that. Compressed ice. Uh... I mean, that doesn't have the texture of water, does it? And we've also got blue glass. I think that might be the way ahead, you know. I think glass is the way ahead. I'm just going to dig a little bit out. We make a, a pond-ish bottom. Then add the blue glass. Replace a few of those. And then we could add a few leaves over here, maybe. There we go. Little pond. I like that. We need... We need more. We need more. Definitely need more. Yes. There's little ponds here, there, and everywhere. Look at that. And then we've got the other one over there. Winner, winner. That's looking good. Even the pigmen like it. I was going to leave those walls on the outside and the ceiling, but I, I just can't do it. It looks a mess. So I'm going to need to do a lot of digging to brighten this place up. More digging. I need a beacon. I'm not doing digging for stone or terracotta without a beacon. But because I haven't got a beacon, and I've only got one with a skull, that meant I had to go to the nether fortress. Two more skulls needed. There's one. Yes! At last! Easy. Woohoo! Get a beacon. The wall is all around, but it looks plain. I, I need to do something with that. We'll add some more detail, but it does what I want it to do. It keeps the gas out. No gas is spawning in here. And I've left that bit open so we've got easy access to the outside world. Class. Next thing I want to do is the ceiling. This is the tough job. And I'm thinking terracotta. Some kind of coloured terracotta. Maybe blue. Not going to lie, this is probably one of the grindiest things I've done, but this is going to look immense. I'm almost halfway. It's taking forever. 
I am calling this project complete. Never again will I do a project this big, especially in one video. What are you doing up there? This was probably one of the biggest grinds I've ever had to do, but this, but th this looks amazing. I like this. Look how safe it is. There's no gas. There's nothing rushing to attack me. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice. Project done. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.